Derby are set for 12 rounds or less as the bell goes to kick off this championship bout. The champion is in the black with gold. Malinaji off to a quick start in the camouflage. Porter coming out and immediately trying to establish his jab. We know Pauli Malinaji is a very, very good jabber. He's it's one of the best in the sport. But Porter feels like his jab can be effective. Wow, a very frenetic start to this championship affair. 30 seconds gone as they are in the center of the ring. You talk about Malinaji's gift of jab. His 11 jabs landed per round through the Judah fight as he's already cut underneath the left eye. His 11 jabs second only to Gennady Golovkin's 12 landed per round, but his 42 jabs thrown per round tops right, right. amongst active championship caliber fighters, according to show stats. So already a bruising affair here in round one, and it was expected to be with the style of a Sean Porter. Both. Right. And the cut underneath to all these eyes, we don't know if it came from a clash of heads or not. Paulie lands a very good right hand. Back. Well, talking to Paulie in the fighters' meeting, he he took note that Sean Porter was going to come out strong, so he's aware of what he has to get done to win these early rounds. Whether or not he can do it is a different story. We'll have to see. Daniel Jacobs, middleweight contender, joining us here ringside as Paulie Malinaji is in the ring, landing that right hand, and Malinaji, no stranger to cuts, was cut against Zab Judah over the left eye after a head clash in the third round. Just one of many cuts he has suffered throughout his career. Sam Williams, the referee, will be a central figure in this bout. It's going to be, a, it, when Tron Porter fights, it's just usually a rough affair. He's a physical fighter. He is one of the most physically uh, strong uh, welterweights in the world. Paul has found a home for that right hand. Paulie, of course, will try to use that sharp jab of his to cut Sean Porter, who's also had issues with cuts around both eyes throughout his career, including in his championship winning effort against Devin Alexander. But a great start here in this welterweight championship fight is again Porter taking the fight to Malinaji along the ropes. Malinaji fighting back with a couple of right hands. This is a good fight already. It's pretty interesting. And both men getting some work done offensively. Double jab followed by the overhand right that Porter ducked, but was stuck with that jab. Porter trying to utilize the jab as well. So a fast start here in this welterweight title belt between the champion Sean Porter landing that left hook to the body, followed by a couple of right hands and in the clinch, Malinaji landing that right hand over top. So a good start here between Porter and the Magic Man. Right. You heard there Porter telling referee, watch him hitting me behind the head, and immediately Pauly countered with watch the headbutts. All right, you got the mouthpiece? All right. All right, deep breath. Okay, good good pickup, all right? He's trying to, he tried to elbow you, and look, okay? But don't worry about that, all right? You stay in that window, and you keep boxing like you did at the end of that round. I know. Yeah, don't worry about it. You just stay in that window, okay? Keep boxing out that window. You got him, all right? Well, you heard okay. uh, Paul yeah, Malnagy really nice suggest he thought okay. that was a How clash corner, of heads okay. that caused the right cut. There was a, a, right. a left hand there, and we'll see if the, the cut emerges. No, I, I don't see well, the... There is, well, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. it does. Yeah, I think that's what it emerge. was. Good job by the crew and yep. the truck. And so it may have been a jab. And, and also, you know what? Some of the... Uh, the wrapping around the glove, yeah, there's the cut. Some of the wrapping around the glove hit the eye as well. That may have caused the cut. The bell and round two. Malinaji fainting. Porter coming in, lands the left. Malinaji firing off a couple of jabs. Very close first round. You know, Malinaji's plan was just to neutralize Porter on the inside. He said, I don't have to win the fight on the inside. I just have to neutralize him and win for the outside. There's the Porter jab. Very good punch. And I gave Sean that last round. I think he was just a little bit too aggressive, too uh, too forceful in that last round. I, 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 I think Paulie should use his legs and use his jab a little bit more and stay on the outside. Malinaji told us that he's been working on a winning rounds coming forward, saying he wanted to use the Wilfred Benitez approach, coming in with a lot of head movement. And there it's 
Porter barreling in as they clinch. And of course, Benitez, a legendary fighter from Puerto Rico. We have the oldest champion in boxing ever coming up in the main event. Benitez, the youngest ever, winning his title at the age of 17. There's the jab from Malinaji. The counter right hand from Malinaji has been an effective weapon. He's going to have to land that punch. And of course, we've talked many times in the past about the four surgeries uh, to Malinaji's right hand. Uh, it, it's bedeviled him. Now, wanting to find the groove with the jab, but Porter again crowding him, making it rough and tumble, landing the right hand. And Porter. Landing the bigger shots, but Malinaji now on the inside, working the body with the right. So a rough and tumble start here. What we anticipated with Sean Porter and his style against Polly Malinaji leads another clubbing right hand. Stylistically, this fight is favoring Sean Porter right now. This is not exactly what Malinaji had in mind, and Sean Porter will do that. Impose his will physically on you. Coming up on the final 60 seconds of the second round, Malinaji utilizing the jab, his calling card. Jab from Porter, misses with the right hand. Good job by Pauli Malinaji to utilize his footwork. Using superb footwork, but I don't think he, he's doing just enough. I think he has to uh, box it a little bit more. He's fighting the inside fight, and that's all Sean Porter. Oh, and Malinaji gets tagged with a couple of left hands, holding on. Man, what a beard does Malinaji sport. He's been down three times as a pro and almost went down for the fourth time as he gets clobbered with another right hand. But Malinowski's still in a vertical position along the ropes. Porter pouring on the pressure here. Malinowski trying to regain his faculty, still very wobbly on his feet, but a stout beard. Possessed by the Magic Man, but it's all Sean Porter as we close out round number two. Malinaji trying to fight back. Sean Porter will hurt Pauli Malinaji with this left hook, a leaping left hook. It was delivered well with leverage, and it's very hard to hurt Pauli Malinaji, but he was able to do it, and that set the tone for the rest of the round. And Malinaji was holding on for a lot of that round, fighting back, but Heard on several occasions after this as well. We'll see how well he can recover from this. His eyes did not look focused heading back to the corner following a strong second round for the champion, Sean Porter. The bell in round three. Of course, Malinaji suffering a flash knockdown against Zab Judah in his last outing. Was also down against Pablo Cesar Cano and Miguel Cota, but staying on his feet thus far here. Not, in this hurt, fight. not hurt in the la those last two knockdowns you talked about, but in this one for sure. And you know, Eric Brown doing some great work in the corner. Malinaji's corner saying, stay focused, you must box. And telling him, you know, box, use your... Use your legs and the jab. And the crowd here at the Armory in Washington, D.C. trying to rally behind Pauli Malinaji. So Daniel, he survived a very tough second round and looks like he's beginning to regain his faculties, but Sean Porter continues to, to lead this dance. Yeah, he is. I think Pauli needs to dig in his bag of tricks because he's a seasoned vet and he needs to switch up his game plan. Uh, he don't need to fight the inside fight. I fought Sean Porter seven times in the amateurs, so I know him very well. He's a great inside fighter, and his left hook is one of his best shots, and that's the shot he wow. caught Porter with. Utilizing a sharp double jab followed by the right hand as well. So a very smooth start for the champion, Sean Porter. Had Malinaji in trouble late in round two. Malinaji now sticks the jab, but eats a couple of jabs in return. And that's the wild card in this fight. Sean Porter, when he jabs effectively, makes himself a very effective welterweight. In fact, he landed 34% of his jabs, did uh, Porter, against Alexander. And look how it set up the right hand. And, and Porter continues to unload on Malinaji. Malinaji desperately holding on. 
So a full frontal assault by the champion, Sean Porter. Malinaji remains standing, but along the ropes now continues to get punished by that right hand. Those are bludgeoning punches from Porter. He throws them from all angles, and he's very tough to deal with, with his strength on the inside. Came in as a pro, his first pro fight at 165, and has worked his way down to 147. He's a strong man. Now Malinaji establishing the jab, backing up the champion. Porter comes back with a lead left hook. Right. This is only a third round, guys. I'm excited to see what's in store for the rest of the fight. Clubbing right hand by Porter. Malinaji, right uppercut, followed by right hand over the top. Blocked that left hook, but then ate that left. Right. So it continues to be Sean Porter getting the best of the exchanges and landing the more punishing shots here through three. Okay, much better, all right? Now listen, you just gotta remember to keep boxing this guy, okay? In and out, son. All right, I got you. Just like we're doing the gym, Paulie. Hey, we don't want to brawl. Sean Porter okay? with a relentless attack and getting off a whole series of punches before Paulie Malinaji can even respond. Hand speed on the inside, power punches, and it all started with the jab. And Sean Porter, when he does that, is a very tough man to deal with. And working the body as well. Over here right when he's leaning, okay? Same when you threw the earnest. You can hit him whatever you want. Step away from me before he grabs you. Use the uppercut to keep stepping back. The bell in round four, and thus far in his unbeaten career, Sean Porter has shown that he can impose his style on stylish boxers like Malinaji, and so far has been able to do that against the more experienced Magic Man, who goes down for the fourth time in his career. Malinaji telling the referee he was hit in the back of his head, but it was ruled a knockdown the fourth time he has tasted the canvas. And one thing about Sean, when he smells blood, he's going to go right after you. He's relentless, and he's a beast in there right now. Porter's going to have to grab on. The jab of Porter has been so impressive in this fight because it has set up the power punches. Porter has recorded three knockouts in the fourth round and just jarred Malinaji with that leaping left hand. And there's the left and right. I don't know how Malinaji's still standing. Another right cross by Porter. Malinaji in trouble along the ropes. The ropes are holding him up and he goes down for the second time in the fight. The fifth time in his career. And he is not getting up. Sean Porter has a successful first title defense as welterweight champion. What an onslaught. Ken Porter, his dad, sharing that moment with Sean Porter. And for Pauli Malinaji, a bitter disappointment. And it's not easy to do that to Pauli Malinaji. So the celebration, some prayer in the corner of Sean Porter, who records a scintillating victory here in Washington, D.C. We ready. You know how we're going to end. We win. We thank you for all of these blessings. And all of these men that are here, we have to pray for Paul's help. Yes, we do. Jesus' name, we pray. We ask all these things all these blessings. We thank you. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Classy concern by Sean Porter for Pauli Malinaji, and we will look at how this all transpired. Look at those double jabs, the straight right hand that followed for the first knockdown in the round. And we'll take another look at it, and they came in, one and used that jab, and Daniel, it was used effectively to set up the power punches. Yeah, it was. He threw that right hand right on the temple, and Pauli couldn't withstand the power. He's a strong guy.
quarter. Malinaji getting a dose of his own medicine, bad tasting medicine tonight in the form of those jarring jabs and going down twice in the fight. And Al, take us through the end of this fight. Sean Porter the, holding onto his belt. You can see the disappointment etched on Paulie Malinaji's face. Then the left hook, which had also been a very effective weapon for Porter. And on the inside, he just kept battling away. They were not in a clinch, and Sam Williams let them go at it, and it was Porter who did lots of damage. And then finally, had Paulie Malinaji in a precarious situation on the ropes, and thankfully, there was not more damage done there, but Sean Porter with a tremendous onslaught and showing us that he is reaching his peak or close to it at 147. A former football player, 165 pounds. Let's look at the show stats at, as a terrific performance by the 147 pound Kingpin. You can see landing at 46% and landing so many of his power punches. All right, let's make it official. Here's Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of 1 minute 14 seconds in round number 4. The referee stops the contest. He is the winner by way of technical knockout. He is still the undefeated IBF welterweight champion of the world. Showtime, Sean Porter. Don't make me cry, bro. Don't make me cry. I hear you, though. I definitely hear you. You know I do. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. And I appreciate that. I know that. I know that. Sean, congratulations to you. Go ahead. Go ahead. Congratulations, Sean. What did Paulie just say to you? Uh, Paulie, man, he just he wished me the best. And, um, you know, I don't know what he's looking at right now for himself and his career. But he said, hey, make sure they know that I lost to a great champion. And, I mean, trust me, I'm doing my best to make it as far as I've made. I'm going to honor him, his words, his wishes. And that's going to drive me to keep going. Team Porter, we here. To what are we right now? 24 and 0? Who are we looking at? 24 0 and 1. Is this go. the victory that you needed, even though you were the champion? Yes, I definitely needed this victory to get it like that over a guy like this. I come to this corner, this guy, man, he just he, he touched me in every, in, in every way possible, you know? Even being in the ring like that with him, I didn't know. I knew, I, I knew what he was coming with, but. You know, I, I, I always have some, some questions from, of my own, you know, that I never proposed to the public. But I came in, I answered them questions, and we got the job done tonight. Sean, what set up that jarring jab that you were so successful with that enabled you to come up with the power punches? They kept asking me about it and telling me, not about that. They asked me if I, if, I, if I use my jab enough, do I think I should use it more? So I came back to the corner after maybe the, the first round. My dad said, use that jab. And actually, the round that I knocked him out in was the round that we wanted to. He, they said the objective was to use the jab and get to the body. And it, it all worked. Team Porter, we here, man, we, and we're doing our best. Let's take a look on this monitor right here. Tell us about the very first knockdown here, Sean. The fir first knockdown, we knew this right hand right here was going to come all night. And we knew it was just a matter of lining it up. I caught him in the back of the ear. Good shot. He was off balance. Uh, he got right up after that shot, so I, I knew it wasn't over. And uh, I went to my corner, my, the neutral corner, as I always do. And now Looked we jump to corner. the end of the fight here, the big right yeah. hand. Yeah, the big right hand. Again, we knew it was going to land all night. At this point, you can see I landed that right hand, and I'm just trying to get space. And I knew the right hand was going to be there all night. So we kept throwing it. My dad told me to go to the body, but, hey, I felt it. Now what would you like to do? you got Richard Schaefer standing right here. What's next on the agenda? Uh, you know, I'm going I'm to uh, enjoy this. I'm going to let my team handle it. My dad, my manager, my coach, Kenny Border, he does a fantastic job with me. Has done a fantastic job to this point. I'm sure they'll all communicate. They'll come up with the next game plan, and we'll go tackle it. Congratulations, Sean. Thank you Great very victory. much. Let's go over and get Polly Malinaji. Polly, if we can have a moment with you. Emotional time for you, Polly. What did you say to Sean there after it was over? Um, I just said, you know, uh, don't make me have lost to an average fighter you know uh, go be great so that i can say you know a really great fighter beat me because uh, i know sean has that potential to be great so i told him to go, to go be great so that you know if i do retire right now uh, i'm not sure i don't want to make emotional decisions but i don't want to i don't want to do it off of losing to an average champion i want to do it off of losing to a great champion you know so i told sean go do what he's capable of go do what he works hard for go be great so so that I can say, if this is my last fight, I lost to a great champion, you know? 
What do you think enabled Sean to be so effective this evening, Polly? Um, I don't know. You know, he, he was uh, controlling distance pretty well. Um, I couldn't get going. You know, uh, he was mixing it up. You know, he was get going away from me for a little bit, and he was suddenly attacked. He was going away for a little bit. He was suddenly attacked. You know, I thought he was just going to bring constant pressure, try to wear me down, because you know, the whole knock on me is Polly Malinaji can't punch. So I figured, hey, you know what? He's going to come right at me. But he makes it up well. He came right at me in spots, and then right at me at times he went away from me, you know, and then he would surprise me by jumping right back in at me, you know, so it's a good game plan. Are you hurt or are you okay? I'm fine, you know, just a little disappointed, that's all. You said you might consider fighting again. You don't want to make an emotional decision. What would lead you to want to come and fight again based on the fact that you have a pretty great job with us and you're excellent at it? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not, uh, I can't really think about that right now, you know. Or, if I give you an answer right now, I'll tell you I'd stop fighting. But, you know, maybe next week I might change my mind, you know. So, I don't know. I, don't, I want to go home and think about it. But, you know, uh, I hope Sean, uh, I wish Sean the best because uh, he deserves it. Holly, thanks. We'll see you next week in, in Los Angeles. Thank you, man. Thanks, guys. Okay. All right. Back to you, Mo. All right. All right Jim, an emotional Polly Malinaji, but a celebratory Sean Porter who tonight put the show in showtime. And... Al, uh, what does the Magic Man do for Well, here? first I want to say, even in the ring in defeat, that was great analysis, Yeah, exactly. By the way. Able to break it down what Sean Porter did. I, you know, I think he's right in saying, take a step back and think about it. He's had an excellent career, and I, you know, we'll see what his, uh, what he has for the future. And Daniel, Sean Porter, very impressive. As I expected. I knew he was going to come on strong, and... The question was whether or not Pauli Malinaji would take the pressure and the power, and he couldn't tonight, but Pauli's a great champion. He took a gracious loss, and I look forward to seeing him in the future. That's a strong young man reaching his peak. Porter records his 15th win inside the distance, improving to 24-0-1 as he successfully defends his IBF welterweight championship here tonight with a fourth-round stoppage over Pauli Malinaji.